What's good to today's video where y'all react to a D and card game. It's some type of relationship game. You see where two people come together if their exes or whether or not you say just in some type of some type of conversation that happens. Okay, let's hop in this video, man. Let's go. Courtney versus you wash. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> the you end. walked in the door and Well, the skin deep. I don't know. Like I felt your yeah type of energy. Like and I was like, I don't know who you think you are, <laughs> but like no, I have the most yeah energy going on in this room. I would agree with that. Yeah. Like Mary oh, thank 10 you. years, Courtney and like Josh. Challenge. Yeah. challenge accepted. Yeah. yeah. For ten years, damn. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> when was the first moment you knew I loved you? That's wow. dangerous. That is. That's a, um... So this is where they like come together and yeah. like mm. express their feelings or something like that. Y'all comment down below. Well, you said it early. You said it so early that I was like, I'm sorry, I just can't believe this. I'm not that what good. What I say? I said it on like the third day? Yeah, it was really quick. Yeah. Third day is crazy. I don't know if it was fear of like holding me back from like really believing it, but um, yeah. yeah, I don't think I would even have been in control to have known either way. Yeah. But um, like this day, like even in class, I just kind of felt, I didn't feel like myself. So by the time I got home, it was clear, like I had a fever, like, and I got home, I, I laid down and by the next time I woke up, it was like almost like nine o'clock. I had missed the whole meeting pretty much. But um, around like maybe like 10 o'clock or so, I don't know, maybe 11, I'm not sure. Yeah. I hear a knock at my door and I'm like, there's no way, like no, nobody, nobody would know. Like my phone has all these miss, missed calls and people are like, you okay, know, I'm, I'm whatever. Kind of, well, I'm kind of confused on what's going on, okay? Is it like, are they broken up or something? Or are they just like reliving their relationship or something like that? I, I With the little strength I had, like I get up to open the door and it was like, I, I didn't even have the strength to look back, like to see who was really at the door. Like it was like I opened it and just fell. Yeah. And, um. I heard you, and you was like, "Oh my God! Like, are you okay?" And mm, okay, went okay. Into, I know what's like, going on. Doctor mode, and it seemed like in like a matter of no time, I was. You was like good. I was better. I was like eating food and like just Damn. the things you need to do. Why is she so deep? Bro? That I was, see why this is called the. That was the first the moment when I deep. knew. I'm like, it's either she loved me or she crazy. Mm, damn. <laughs> What's something you would never have done if it wasn't for me? Don't start crying now, bruh. Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, come on, bruh. That shit D, bro. Come on, bro. Excitement. Um. Am I tripping or like y'all when y'all watch people like um like like love each other or like some type of movie and stuff like that? Is it cringe for someone to be like like this, like express the feelings on a movie or something like that, like on a video or something like that? I don't know if we know what that means, but comment down below if we do. Comment down below if we do. All right. This shit deep, huh? <laughs> The irony, huh? You give me a lot of strength. No? Okay. Like a lot of strength, like like the way you believe in me, like it helps me like love myself more. Like. As I've been like growing and like, so I'm guessing they are really even like the past. I feel and like, still married, I think you've just been like right there, like, keep going. You got this. There's nothing that no one can tell you that will change anything. I ain't gonna like, lie, though, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Some partners can, can make or break you, bro. Some partners can give you the world and 
not even give you the world, but like set you up on the right path, bro. You know what I'm saying? But some others will do you dirty, bro. I ain't gonna lie. And won't care about what the hell you got to offer, bro. Except one thing. To a particular moment, I guess. Um it was when we were living in um Jersey when I was working in New York. And I was having like a really crappy day. Like, I don't know what it was. Like something just like kind of came over on me and I was just like, I don't want to do this no more. I don't want to be here anymore. I want to feel something new. I want to feel something different. And I don't know where to start. Okay. Like, And like, I called you and I was like, I want to move to California. I want to move to California. And you were like, okay. Like, it was no why. It was no, well, what are you going to do? Hey, some it was people no- will drop everything for a person, bro. And it's not even that they're crazy. It's the fact that they've given them everything, set them on the right path to success, treated them right. You know what I'm saying? So I get why. Bro didn't ask no questions. From what I from what I gathered, she's treating him well and leading her onto the right path. Let me let's, let's just keep going to the video, man. Who knows? Like, how are we gonna do? When are we gonna move? Like, Damn. you just said okay. Like, and I was like, mm, "Damn, he brother, about to dump me. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> like, he's not coming with me. Like, for sure." And then you, and you covered me, like, you know, like you were my best friend, you were my mom, you were my dad, you were my brother, like you were literally everything and more than I needed, like, because you had everything. Do people volunteer to be on this show? Like, I know this is like, you know, off topic. Do people volunteer to be on the show or do they get paid? Like, what happens? What is this like? Up for your life there. (laughs) And you really sacrificed, like everything and more and i know you did yeah and i appreciate it Respect, Brad. Thank you. i don't care what you say i i would say the same what's the best thing you learned from me oh excuse me what's the best thing you learned from our worst fight whoa the one yesterday mm. jk <laughs> yesterday <laughs> Um, what's the best thing? The I best learned? thing you learned from our worst fight? Um, like that shit is crazy. Then coming on this show, them low blows, man. Like yeah, them low blows, they're just like bro. not needed. Anger just overall brings out every dark side in you, like. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. even if you try to be, like, full of light, Thanks. we're human, right? <laughs> right? So it's hard to hide that that dark side or that little ragey person in you. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm learning to, like, really communicate how I'm feeling or even just more so, like, process why am I so angry mm-hmm. in that moment. Like, when you just said that one thing about what I did last week, why is that making me angry? Yeah. Mm. Is it the tone? Mm -hmm. Is it the, did I, do I feel guilty? Like, yeah, I was acting some, some sort of way last week. You're right. But I don't want to like acknowledge that. Yeah. And that's probably nine times out of 10 is me not wanting to acknowledge I'm wrong. I don't like it. Man, this shit deep, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't expect it to be like this, bro. Like if you would have told me it's going to be all this crying and stuff and like, you know, um, getting getting emotional, and like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But hey, we gonna continue, man. You know it's, it's not it's not bad. I want to see some drama, bro. <laughs> what do you need lie. to hear from me? Um, that's pretty good. I like that. Yeah, I need to hear that that you do trust what? me. To hear it, you know, I believe it. Yeah. But to hear mm. it, you know, not word. You can't just believe, right? Hearing it, 
and like actually like saying it out loud and like texting and all that other stuff, it's different, bro. I ain't gonna lie, it's different. For you to just like reassurance is different in bro. those moments where you know maybe in the past it might have brought friction. Yeah. Kind of lean into that, like not the friction, but lean into like I know it's uncomfortable because you do like to be in control, <laughs> and it's my fault because I've like kind of. You opened that door. I did. So, but um, yeah, just hearing it like, oh, word. You know what? This is not what I thought was going to happen or I, how I thought it was going to go. But yeah, I trust okay. I trust that you you got it. Like, we got it. It's good. And I do. Sometimes, like, I told you, I don't like being, I don't like saying that I'm wrong. So sometimes I like to just. Most girls don't like this. saying when they're wrong, bro. Are we going to get the last line? Working through it, but I will. I definitely will. How do you think we see love differently, and how does that affect us? Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah. That's good. Mm. Wow. I think um I ain't gonna I don't know how to feel about this if I'm being honest, but I don't I actually don't know what to say. I've never I've never I've never reacted to this kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I can offer pieces of advice here and there, but like to judge the relationship, I can't do that. You know what I mean? Because it seems like they're you know what I'm saying? Bro, <laughs> they've been married for ten years, but like come on now. Obviously there's ups and downs, but you know I think life before, happens. Right? You know, when we were, before we left and we really had to be on our own, I think whatever our understanding of love was just like growing, like as we were going. Yeah. Um, now, like I know for sure our love is unconditional. Yeah. Like I know it's no condition. Like you see me at my worst. Like, You've accepted that. You've built me up from there. So I think our love has changed because it's become unconditional. So it okay. might have started like right. even in the beginning where maybe now I don't know. Comment on how y'all feel I'm about like, this, I, man. I know I've seen this video got millions and millions of views and stuff. I want to know how y'all feel about this thing. You can't be serious. Or, and like grew from that to like, oh, it doesn't matter what happens. I'm still going to love you. So. I think that's okay. the best way I can articulate. See, I'm trying to get that type of love too, bro. You feel me? The way I show love to you is different from how you show love to me. Because I think you do show me unconditional love. And sometimes I'd be like, if you're not going to rub my feet, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm done. Uh, I think it's different, show. but I think it's supposed to be. Like, why would we express something the same way and we two different people? Like, I don't think we were created nice. to express it that way. So yeah, I I may be a, like, it may come off like that where it's like, you make him, it's no condition, you've shown that. Yeah. It's not a question in my mind. Like, there's things you've done that nobody would never do. And you've done it without me even asking. I don't even have to nudge. So I feel like you, it's a part of it. Like you've earned that I right. Some girls that go above and beyond, bro. You hear me? Some girls go above and beyond in a good way, bro. Not, not in a bad way, bro. In a good way, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you treat them how they want to be treated, I know that it's the golden rule and stuff like that. It's cliche. It's not that cliche, bro. You know what I mean? If you, do, if, you, if you do what's right in a relationship and you communicate, bro, it's not going to be a perfect relationship. It's going to be a good one. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't deny that. Be like, can you do this? Or I need this? Or that? Like, I don't see that as... Like, you're not taking advantage of me. Yeah. It's just, we love each other differently. But I think all together, it makes it, like, whole and complete. So, yeah, it's different. It is. And sometimes, you know, we got our moments. I'm not going to be like, but and at the core, I know. So I never question it. Okay. I like that. Because okay, I thought you was going to say something different. Nah. Nah. I did. Why am I in your life? Well, that's a good one, bro. I, tr um, I truly believe, like, 
God really was like, all right, Courtney, you're bugging. You need guidance. Clearly, you're not hearing me. <laughs> Here goes someone that you will listen to. Like, like I told you, like the first time we started, like, well, when I met you, I felt like everything started to go right in my life. Like, and that's not wrong. Like, I'm not chucking up my blessings to you, but I truly do believe, like, God helped me with you. Like, he brought you to me to really, like, grow and and prosper. Like, because I I know he loves me. (laughs) I know my parents love me. Like, but I never envisioned someone on earth being strong enough to love me through every single moment that I have, like whether it's like insecurities or just me being really, really intense at times. Like, because I know my love can be intense. So yeah, I never thought that there would be anyone strong enough um, to really like see me. Clap clap, clap around, bro. Round of applause. I hope I answered the question. (laughs) Thank you, Dan. Okay. Okay. See, I'm a little... (laughs) I was a little skin deep, you know what I'm saying? A little, 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 little skin deep, bro. I ain't gonna lie, but that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't expect it to be like that, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I didn't expect it to be like that, man. But if y'all enjoyed that video, man, like, comment, subscribe. If y'all want more videos like this, man, comment down below. Comment down below. Who knows? I may react to skin deep more, more often. Um, if y'all like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Follow my Instagram, follow my Twitter. Everything's gonna be down below in the description box. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's.